Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for Virtual Bird Fest 2020. Since we can't meet with our wonderful bird guides, we thought we'd create a video for you to get to know some of the Bird Fest guides and maybe learn something from them. My favorite thing about sharing my hobby and passion with other people is learning from them and also letting them uh, in on some of my expertise, uh, um, you know, whether it's locations to bird and uh, just the shared memory, shared experience. Uh, we're in Naham Canyon right now and just last week I was out with somebody and we saw a golden eagle take a chucker in midair, which was something I've never seen before, but having somebody else there uh, to share that memory with was uh, just added to the experience. Uh, my favorite part is when I go out with Heather on leading bird tours and we're with people who've never birded before. And it's always a big thrill when they get to see one of the first birds they can identify, like really grab them, like a western tanager or um, the American Dipper, of course, or the Osprey, something that just really grabs their attention that been around them all their life they really never paid attention to and then they get to see it for the first time and it's, just, it's such a big thrill and that maybe they get hooked on birdie and so that's why I think it's the biggest fun. I'd, my favorite part would be the adventure of birding, the fascinating fascination of birding, the discoveries and detective work that birding has from your backyard where you're just studying individual birds that might be uh, violet green swallows we're hearing overhead, or uh, western tanagers that have just come back from Mexico to breed here, or our year-round residents, black-capped chickpeas, they all have something fascinating. Is the joy that it can bring into other people's lives. Would have to be actually myself learning from less experienced birders because I find that they notice things that I have since forgotten or that I overlook. Um, and with my experience working with a lot of elementary school students who have never gone out with the purpose of watching birds, that they end up noticing way more uh, than I actually do. My favorite bird is kind of a cliche. It's a um, bald eagle and it's, it's big, it's beautiful, it's magnificent, symbol of the country. And um, and I guess when I first saw them, they were like the biggest bird I'd ever seen, so it was just really a big thrill. That's an uh, unanswerable question. Uh, anybody who's birded with me for any period of time will often hear me say, you know, such and such. It's one of my favorite birds. But I think overall, I like uh, different groups of birds and what they represent. To me, you know, the golden eagles, peregrine falcons, American dippers. You um, represent the, the mountainous west, and uh, and I, I also like you know this sagebrush species, um, prairie species. I like little birds with a lot of personality, like the wrens and chickadees. Um, also, the more cryptic birds that are quiet, and you have to really listen for them. Uh, so about every bird is my favorite bird. The American robin, uh, for one reason, because it's Cheerio Cheery Me always makes me smile and it reminds me of my childhood and it was also one of the first birds that I learned and it's always a ton of fun watching them walk around and tilt their head off and on looking for uh, their dinner or breakfast in the lawn. It's a northern cardinal. Uh, I like it because I live in Washington now for almost 10 years but I grew up in Oklahoma and lived in Missouri for 25 years and it reminds me of uh, back home. So, and it, plus it's a beautiful bird. My favorite bird is the American Dipper because of its adaptation to its habitat. It's year round resident in fast moving streams. It needs clean water, so not polluted and fast moving water. It's solitary. It's in a little group of, um, of itself, its family unit. And it builds its nest, a moss nest, uh, like basketball side, under, underneath bridges, um, next to waterfalls, 
overhanging down logs and rivers or lakes and uh, it bobs. And my birding origin story, um, all my friends went to college and I stayed in uh, the Tri-Cities and went to the community college there. And so I wasn't hanging out with too many people and I found the Sibley birding guide on my floor in the corner of my room that my sister had given me three years before. Um, so one day, out of boredom, I simply picked it up and started to read it, and I started to walk down along the Columbia River and identified birds just on my own, and I became addicted, and um, it was really cool that working for Wenatchee River Institute, I then got to um, hang out with David Allen Sibley for part of a day. Um, and he was the one that got me into birding. So. When I moved to Washington, I didn't really know very many people. I met Heather Murphy and she suggested that I take up birding as a way to um, meet wonderful people who like birding and like the out of doors and like art and nature and beauty. And I found that that was true. And um, while I was finding all that with those with a other human companionship, I became a birder. When I first got hooked on birding, I was eight years old and we had a Rufus hummingbird in the Olympic Mountains that had been trapped behind a screen. So I got to get very close to it, turn it around and look at its iridescence and um, how it changed from orange to gold to red as you move it in the sun, the male did. And that was my first hook. My parents were both outdoors people and taught us to observe um, I did 50 mile hikes in the Olympic Mountains that hooked me on uh, my career of what to do with myself and over time. Then my Forest Service job here at uh, Wenatchee River Ranger District, I got uh, very fortunate to study birds and then moving on in, as a volunteer in my retirement to help uh, bird throughout the world. Well, I've been birding as long as I remember. Uh, there's pictures of me very young with binoculars. Um, a lot of it was feeder watching from the backyard. As soon as I could ride a bike, I was riding to various locations, um, like sewage treatment ponds, to look at the uh, trumpeter swans. Um, my my dad also took me to take me pheasant hunting and uh, partridge hunting, uh, and that really kind of instilled this. Uh, love of nature and appreciation for conservation. First time I really did birding was when I was doing, uh, helping out with the Bureau of Land Management. Did a wintertime bald eagle count in January of 1980. And so I got me intrigued by uh, following birds and identifying them. And I also had to do uh, inventory for perugenous hawks at Juniper Forest down by the Tri-City. So I got to learn, uh, watch birds a lot down there. And finally, being married to Heather, I get to go out on lots of birding tours, so um, get to identify a lot more birds and kind of the thrill of the hunt of finding, looking for and finding the birds and identifying them is fun. My number one tip for birders, to make friends with other good birders and go birding with them. Whenever you pick up a pair of binoculars, you put the strap over your head so they don't drop on the ground. There's a reason I know that, and it's expensive, so don't ever do that. So number one tip when using binoculars, put them around your neck, hold them wet well, get them snug. Would be to not discount the common birds. Don't overlook them um, because you can learn a ton from that species by observing them more. It's not always just about um, seeing as, as many species as you can. To protect your eyes. So um, always have, when you're birding, I have some props. Always have the sun at your back so that you can see very clearly what you're looking at rather than into the sun. Hats are good. If you have to bird into the sun, you can put on your hat and then if that evening grow speakers. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, bird wherever you are. Uh, there's, you know, if, even if it's a grocery store parking lot, there's, there's some behavior, some interactions to see. Uh, and don't get too set on finding anything in particular. Um, just enjoy whatever you come across and what you find.